my god, look at Makai, so cute. Oh, she shoved her, okay. Oh, oh my, oh my god, I didn't think they were gonna start fighting. Hey rainbows, and welcome back to another episode of the Royal Family. Today is going to be a fun little episode, so I have a few things planned. One, we are going to focus on the kids of the royal and noble families, so we're focusing on like Alice May and William and all their friends. And then we are also going to go get to see Charles, because Charles has officially moved to university, so we're just gonna see him real quick. It's just gonna just show you guys where him and his cousin Maxwell live. And then we're gonna go see Araminta and Anya for a little bit. We're not not having their birthday party quite yet, but we're just gonna visit them and, and get some updates. So if you're excited for this video, hit that like button. So we are at the Sulani Mermaid Palace. So we've been here once before and it's actually like a little day trip. So I imagine it's like a long weekend for like a holiday or something like that. I've just created a random holiday called Holiday. And all the royal kids were invited to come to the Sulani royal family's second palace. And I have Makai as their chaperone. I think that all all the parents of the kids know Makai already, so like they they trust him with this. I'm sure that Leilana and Dean might stop by too. But I do have them all here so we can just focus on the kids because I think this will be a lot of fun. I am doing just a little bit more of a relaxed episode this time because as I've mentioned, I was starting to get a little bit stressed out from the storylines just from having so many of them. But I do still want to get episodes out to you guys because I know this is a hard time right now. But yeah, I just need a little bit more time to break brainstorm how the storylines we have going on, just like how they're gonna go. So yeah, anyway, all right, so we are here. So we have Lord William, we have Frederick. I need to put Prince Frederick in front of his name. I'll make sure to do that at some point. We have Frederick, so he's the Prince of Brindleton Bay. We have Princess Molly Grace. We have Jessica. I know there's just a period for her last name just because I didn't know what to put for her last names and you have to put something in the Sims, so just ignore that. So we have Jessica and then we have Prince Kaleo of Sulani. And then we have Lady Nani of Sulani who is actually Molly Grace and Frederick's cousin. So I'll show you guys their family tree in just a second. And then we have Princess Alice May, of course. I had to take out the May just because I just changed up their swimsuits and create a sim. So this is like the main group of kids. I don't think I had shown you guys Lady Nani before, but I have officially added her to the kids club. And I'll just show you guys real quick Nani's family tree. So I did a quiz on seeing how well you guys knew the royal families on my Instagram story a few days ago. And it was just like a few questions. It was just for fun. But I did ask, I was like, how is Queen Sadira of Brindleton Bay related to Queen Amira? Where'd she go? Yeah. Yes, related to Queen Amira, and one of the options was not related, and a lot of people picked that. But they are actually cousins because King Henry, his two sisters is Cora and Anna. Of course, Henry had Amira as well as the other kids, and then Marchness Anna. She had Sidira, Aurora, and Ezra. That's actually backwards of the age order. So oldest is Ezra, second oldest is Aurora, third oldest or youngest is Sidira. So Sidira and Amira are cousins. Oh my God, their names sound so similar. I'm so sorry. But I guess Winston he probably could have been in here too. Maybe he just doesn't hang out with them as often, but maybe he'll be the one who I add later to the group. But yeah, Molly Grace and Lady Nani, they're cousins. And then of course, Lady Nani, her parents are Kona, which is Makai's brother. So Nani is Makai's niece. But yeah, just want to show you that real quick. I know we're probably due for a family tree video sometime soon, like an updated one. We are actually working on one of my mods, Ashley. She's working on a public family tree for you guys with like everyone on there. I'm trying to help her finish that because she's doing most of it on her own and I'm so thankful, but I need to help her finish that too. So I'm gonna try to wait for that to be done before I do an updated video. If it does end up taking a while, I'll just do another one soon. Probably not for another few months though. I wanna wait for more people to have kids as well. But yeah, I just wanted to show you how they were related real quick. I know some of this is confusing too. I'm sorry, let me get the kids to like, do stuff. Why don't you guys all like play? Oh, do we have a kids club gathering going on? Why don't we do that so we can just get them all to do the same activity? So play pirate together. They're all so cute. We'll kind of see if there's any crushes going on in a second too. I do just want to tell you guys a few things. So one, I know I said a few episodes ago that I was not going to do a YouTube channel for my Twitch streams, but I did one anyway. So um, it's called More Mira Ray, and I will put the link to my new channel in the description below. It's just for Twitch streams. I ended up making one because I realized that Twitch does eventually erase some of your videos. So I don't have like the, my very first stream on there, but it's like one of my first ones. I am also trying to 
figure out how to get the chat into there to show up in the video because it just kind of, I don't know, I just kind of feel like I look like an idiot when I'm talking and you guys can't see the chat or what I'm answering to. I usually try to read chat messages out loud, but like I, I don't always. So the first several videos, probably like the first 10 or so doesn't have any chat messages, but I'm gonna try to figure out how to add that soon. But yeah, we have a lot of fun on the streams. If you're ever running out of Royal Family videos to watch, you can go watch those because we pay a lot of attention to the nobles and some other characters we don't really get to see. I sometimes give spoilers and like tell secrets in my streams as well. But yeah, the link to that channel is in the description below. And then I also did release my public save file for my first Royal Family save file that I have, which was back in August. So that was like right after Princess May had passed away. So I will link that post in the description below as well. So that is for public release. And then the month after that, I release it like every month. So I will release the next one in about a month or so as well. All right, but anyway, so Makai is the sh little chaperone here. So I'm gonna have him play a sea monster. Um, it looks like all the kids are in their bathing suits, except for Molly Grace. All right, so I have seen like a few people say what couples they want to happen with the kids. I do think it's really early to tell, however. So we'll just kind of have to see. Some crushes that I imagine are happening. So like if we look at Alice May and who she is close with. So her and Molly Grace are like best friends. Friends. Technically, they are taking dance classes together. I have not found the right dance outfits and like leotards and tutus that I want for them. So as soon as I do, I will post pictures of them on my Instagram in their little dance class together. Maybe, maybe Jessica will take one too. I don't know. I don't know if that would really be her thing, but we'll we'll see. Oh my God, look at Makai, he's so cute. I imagine that Kaleo might have a bit of a crush on Alice May. However, I don't think that Alice May is really, like, I don't think she has a crush yet. I don't think she's really into that stuff quite yet. She might be when she gets a little bit older, but at her age now, that's not really what's on her mind. I do feel like when Kaleo gets asked if he has a crush on Alice May, he gets like really defensive and he's like, no, she's just a friend. Some people were saying maybe Frederick and Alice May. I just think that would be too complicated. I mean, Frederick is the heir to the Brindleton Bay throne and then Alice May is the heir to the Windenburg throne. I don't think that's going to happen for them. And then some people of course were saying because William and Jessica, since they're really close, that maybe they would end up together as well. But I think right now they just see each other as friends. And then William and Molly Grace, they're close friends as well. William and Frederick are really close too. So they're really good friends. But I am gonna have Kaleo. Maybe he'll ask Alice May to cloud gaze. Okay, they're cloud gazing together. They're really cute. And then Makai and Jessica have gotten so, oh, where are they going? I don't know where they're going. Um, but Makai and Jessica have gotten really close. Oh, and then Makai's pushing Jessica on the same. Wait, stop. This is so cute. <gasps> oh, you guys, that's adorable. I really do think Makai would make a great dad. I don't think he is thinking of this yet. Like, I don't think it's gotten into his head about adopting Jessica. That's not like an idea that has formed yet. I think maybe someone might bring it up to him. Maybe Leilana might, or just, I don't know, someone. I want them to just have a deeper connection first. I don't want this to be an immediate thing. As I mentioned in the last episode, I would want a relationship to form between Jessica and whoever adopts her. But I like seeing how well they're getting along together and that they already have such a strong connection too, like a really good relationship. Makai does love kids. He's close with his niece. He's close with his, I'm just gonna call Galeo his nephew. I know it's not technically his nephew, but I'm, I'm gonna call him that anyway. I wish I could get the kids to like all sail on this boat because I think it'd be really cute if Makai took them out all on the boat. But I am gonna have Makai invite over like Samaria and Makana and Leilana. So I have Leilana right here. And then I have Kona. So this is Kona Makai's brother. This is Lady Nani's father. And then of course we have Leilana here as well. So I'm gonna have us go say hi to her. And then I feel like Alice May should probably get to know her too. Let's have her ask about Day. Just because she's so close with Kaleo, so I feel like she needs to get to know the rest of Kaleo's family as well. I'm sure she would. I feel like they hang out all the time, so she would know his family. But then here's Samaria too, and she's doing well. So Bellatrix has not gone to the military yet. I do actually want to ask you guys. So I am debating if I should do a mini series for Charles and Bellatrix. It would be the same mini series, but like basically their adventures in University and Strangerville. I'll probably do a community poll 
poll in a few days, so look out for that. If I don't do it as a mini series, then I would do it on my Twitch streams. I did also get asked if I had ever thought about doing a mini series with like, I guess just the other families or like maybe each family having each their own series. I feel like it's too late to do that at this point. I do apologize that there are so many characters. I am working on a season one recap for you guys. If I ever wrote a book on the Royal Family series or had like a web comic or something like that, each family would probably be their own series and then they would all connect as a whole. But I do feel like it's too late to do that here. Um, I'm going to try to be as organized as possible with the storylines. Maybe I'll do like a question video too if you guys have any story plot questions that you're not understanding. But yeah, I will try my best to explain things to you all. But yeah, as you guys know, Samaria, you should know, Samaria and Bellatrix are together. Bellatrix is not going to the military quite yet. She'll probably go maybe in two or so episodes, but I'd need to find out if I need to do the mini series or not. We are gonna see Charles in this episode. He already moved to university because it's fall, so I figured he would start in the fall. Again, I will try my best to make sure everything is organized for the storyline. That's why I'm just picking a few things to focus on at a time, and then maybe we'll have like the little fun episodes like this where we get to see other people that we don't normally get to see. But I do know Samaria and Bellatrix are gonna miss each other. I feel like they're spending as much time as possible together. Like after Samaria visits here, she might go over and see Bellatrix. And then Makana should be here somewhere too. Him and Kimberly are doing well. Oh, there he is. But yeah, him and Kimberly are doing really well. Kimberly just like motivates him to be his best self, I feel like. Cause I've mentioned before, I mean, he has a loner trait and he also has the lazy trait. So it's just hard for him sometimes. And he gets a lot of pressure from his parents and his sister just to do what he's supposed to do and even just like do more. But I feel like Kimberly really helps him with that and like Kimberly understands him and she is able to motivate him without nagging him or anything like that. But okay, so yeah, I mean, those are the kiddos. You guys got to see them. They're all hanging out a lot and they're all friends and they're all really cute. I know we don't get to see them much. So I just wanted to show you guys so we can pay attention to them. We'll meet more kids in the future. I mean, this, ge not generation, but I guess this group of kids, plus like Cedric and maybe some more kids, they're gonna be the ones who will have the next debutante ball. So yeah, okay, we're gonna move on and go see Charles at university now. All right, so we are now at Brightchester. I just think it's funny because I said I would never come here when the university came out. Um, and then I changed my mind, obviously. But we have Prince Charles and Lord Maxwell here. So Lord Maxwell, is Prince Charles's cousin. They decided to go to university together. They've always gone along pretty well too, so they're already pretty good friends. And then of course there was the whole thing with Maxwell and Aisha and Rosalind. So I don't think Maxwell had like the best reputation leaving home. And obviously I think that Charles like disagrees with what Maxwell did, but I mean, they both made mistakes. They are now starting this new adventure. So yeah, if I did the mini series then I would focus a little bit more on Charles here. And then I would focus on Bellatrix of course in in Strangerville. If I didn't do the miniseries, I would still show you guys like the important things that are happening with Charles and who they're meeting and all that stuff. But I at least just wanted to show you where they live. So yeah, I mean, Charles, his family has just moved him in here. Oh wait, that's, oh, that's his mother. Queen Evangeline's here. Okay, let's invite her in. We'll say hi. You can stop doing homework for a second. So yeah, I imagine that maybe they were just like helping them move in their stuff. I'll just show you guys real quick. So this is their little townhouse. They're living off campus. On the first floor here, we have Maxwell's bedroom, and then of course all the main stuff. Second floor is kitchen and dining area. Third floor, this is Charles's bedroom. I just downloaded this from the gallery. This is called Spring Steps Townhouse by Miss L.A. Jade. So you can download that from the gallery. It doesn't have any custom content, but the room, like this room, just screamed Charles. I was like, this is so him. It's even, it's even like a salmon pink, and then Maxwell's is blue, which is cool because Maxwell's from Willow Creek, and then of course we have Charles from Windenburg. Now I do think that while Charles is here, I think that he's going to try to keep on the down low. I don't think he's going to draw attention to himself nor is he gonna tell people that he's a prince while he's here. So yeah, I mean, I'm sure that some people might recognize Prince Charles, but I do think maybe I'll put him in like a few hats and stuff. You can do the celebrity disguise, but I don't always like the celebrity disguise because you can't pick out what it looks like. So yeah, Charles is just gonna stay on the down low while he's here. But yeah, so this is the first day that they're here. I do think that someone should be here to like show them around campus, maybe like a student mentor, tour guide, someone like that, the people who give tours. Okay, so maybe this is her. Is this her? Yes, this is. Okay. 
Okay, so this is Fallon Waterloo. She's going to be their tour guide. So I'm gonna do a friendly introduction from Charles and from Maxwell. So Fallon was made by Simmer Flies in the gallery. Just make sure the include custom content box is checked when you try to find her. But her family actually lives in Willow Creek because they have a farm and they sell produce. And then Fallon is just taking classes in Brightchester as well. Oh no, Queen Evangeline, she's angry. Why are you enraged? Charles, you need to calm down. Calm down your mother. Oh, I don't know. I don't, I'm not able to. Maybe we should say goodbye. Be like, okay, mom, you and Diana and Bellatrix, you guys already helped me move in. Bellatrix and Diana already left. So, you know, time to go. <laughs> okay, she's gone now. All right, but yeah, so this is Fallon. So she's just gonna show them around campus. So yeah, I won't get too into the university gameplay. I'm sure you guys have seen it if you have it already. But yeah, I just wanted to show you Charles real quick. He's starting his new life. He's starting his new adventure at university. I'm really excited for him. He is majoring in, what is it? It is language and literature. So he is getting a distinguished degree in language and literature. And then Maxwell is getting a distinguished degree in communications at Brightchester. So yeah, we'll see them again soon. Just wanted to introduce this. It's a it's a new storyline for sure. But I think it'll be a lot of fun just to see where they go. All right, we are now at the Glimmerbrook Palace and guys, it is still raining. I seriously think there's a bug because I have done everything. I have turned off rain and snow in my game options. I have used the weather machine to try to make it sunny and it says it was successful and it wasn't. I've used MC Command center to try to make it stop raining and nothing has worked so far. So that's a problem. Hopefully I can figure out what is causing this because I don't know how I feel about it just constantly raining in Glimmerbrook. I feel like maybe Empress Maylin is very superstitious and thinks that maybe it is a sign that something's going to happen. So I feel like she's telling that to Araminta and I feel like Araminta is like, mom, stop being so superstitious. But we do have Prince Han here. So Prince Han is, oh, whoa, hello. But Prince Han, he is staying here for a few days because Araminta got to spend time with him and his family. I don't know if spend time's the right word, but she got to meet them and stay there for a while. So I do feel like she asked Han if he wanted to spend time there too, because this is where he would be living. So I think it would be good for them for sure. So we're not having their birthday party in this episode, Araminta and Anya's. I'm gonna wait till the next episode to do that. I don't even know if it'd be a birthday party, to be honest, but Anya is stressing Araminta out a little bit. It. She barely talks to Han. I feel like she might just like walk by him and like give him a look or something like that, but she doesn't really talk to him at all. I feel like Empress Mei Lin's been trying to talk to Han and get to know him. Takashi and Han, I feel like are getting along pretty well too. Yeah, I really just don't think Anya acknowledges Han at all. You know, I wonder if I should ask Han to be her boyfriend. Technically, like we know they're engaged and stuff, but I do still think Han is thinking about proposing to Araminta. I don't know how soon that's gonna be though, because I still think he's like super nervous. I don't think he was planning on doing doing it while he was here. I think he wants to make it really special. I'm just, I'm gonna say it has to be boyfriend. We'll, we'll do it. But they're so cute, you guys. They're adorable. I love them. So yeah, that's what's going on with them. Prince Takashi. Takashi, why don't you call your girlfriend Elena? Maybe you can ask her to hang out actually. And then Anya is dancing. Okay. <laughs> she's stressed out, but she's dancing. And then Empress Mei Lin, she's stressed too. She's tense. She's trying to relax here right now. Her and Kentaro are still, they're cute. They. They talk to each other. I wanna have her send him a text. But yeah, I don't think that they're going to be together still for a while because they still don't know who's behind Emperor Zhao's murder. So we will find that out and see what's gonna happen with that. Oh, okay, and Elena's here now. Talk, she's like dressed in a suit and tie. It's really cute. Let's ask her about day. We'll say hi to her. But yeah, Anya is still tense. She's trying to figure out how to get more power to get what she wants, which is more power. So she needs to find out how to get power to get more power. But we will see her and her schemes in a future episode very, very soon. And then Takashi and Elena are both really, really cute too. But yeah, I've also mentioned before, Elena's like our huge partier. I do think Takashi likes going to parties too. Cause I mean, he's very funny. He's kind of like, the class clown. He always makes everyone laugh. So I feel like he's very outgoing in general, but we'll definitely get to see more of them soon. Again, I want to focus on the older teenagers and like the young adults like Charles and Bellatrix first before we get to these kids. Oh no, guys, Araminta and Anya are arguing right now. I really do think that they constantly have been arguing. Araminta tries to give her the benefit of the doubt, but like Anya has just been so difficult and just suggesting ridiculous things to her, like attacking other kingdoms and taking over and all that stuff. And oh, Oh, and there's Han. Oh, Han's just walking out. Han is like, bye. <laughs> I am not going to be part of this. I really don't think that Araminta has told Han about her relationship with her sister. I don't think they, oh, and then Maylin is angry too. But I don't think they talk about it often. She doesn't like talking about Araminta or 
Aramente doesn't like talking about Anya, but now Han is like seeing for the first time them arguing. I'm sure that Araminta doesn't want to argue in front of him, but I feel like Han just like left and Araminta was like, now she's really arguing back with Anya. And she's like, are you serious? Like, are you really going to start this right now and all that stuff? So yeah, I mean, we will have to see. I mean, Araminta's relationship with Anya, it's like they're, they're in the way negatives. Like it's completely negative. They despise each other, or at least Anya despises Araminta. Araminta is just so caring. She just wants to give her sister the benefit of the doubt, but like she just can't, she can't. I do think that Araminta is telling her like, don't do this right now. Like I know we don't get along, but I don't want to fight, not in front of Han. So yeah, we'll have to see how it goes. I don't know if it'll, <gasps> oh, she shoved her. Okay. Oh, oh my. Okay, um, they're getting into a fight. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, I didn't think they were gonna start fighting. Okay, well, this is happening. Good thing Han's not in the room. I'm sure that Araminta would not want Han to see this right now. I do kind of feel like maybe physical fights are something that happen pretty often with them. I don't know, I don't know, they're fighting. They're still fighting. Okay, it does look like Araminta's winning. But like, how long are you guys gonna fight for? Jeez. Okay, they're done. I think that Araminta won. She's feeling very confident. Okay, well, I did not think that they would actually get into a physical fight. Anya definitely started it. She was shoving her. I really do think it must have been that Anya was like telling Araminta that she needs to like take over other kingdoms and like they need to attack other kingdoms and Araminta absolutely refuses to. Like she refuses to do that. She refuses to like break the alliance with any of the other kingdoms. So yeah, was not expecting that. <laughs> did not think they were gonna start fighting. Um, You guys are gonna have to tell me what you think for sure. But I am gonna go ahead and end this episode here. Let me know what you think of Anya and Araminta's fight. Let me know what you think of the kids and if any of them you think are gonna get along better than others. Let me know what you think of Makai and Jessica and Charles and Maxwell going to university. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.